story tonight. The GBI now says it is investigating Burke County Sheriff Alfonso Williams. The GBI confirmed their investigation to us last night, and at this point, we don't really have a lot of details about the scope of it. But it comes after multiple I-team investigations regarding the sheriff. Will Rio lays out what we know and puts it all in perspective for us. On October 12, 2022, two spending audits looked into how the sheriff spent grant funds and used an unauthorized county credit card for expenses. Then on October 19th, the county manager's office responds to those audits. The very next day on October 20th, the I team broke down how grant funds are supposed to be spent and who authorizes county credit cards. The I team then was notified in February about a GBI investigation into training records in classes taught by Sheriff Williams. In March, the I team was alerted to more than $53,000 in missing funds. Then on May 4th, the sheriff sits down with the I team to talk about several investigations. And now the GBI has a limited preliminary inquiry into allegations and concerns with the sheriff. The I-Team has been investigating the Burke County Sheriff's Office for months now. It started with two independent financial audits that were done by the accounting firm Lanier Deal in Proctor from September of 2021 through July of 2022. The I-Team reported on this in October of 2022. The audit looked at how the Sheriff's Office spent nearly $250,000 of grant money on turkeys and toys for the community. Those grants were from the Waynesboro Housing Authority for Housing Authority property and Georgia Power for safety at Plant Vogel. The audit also found the sheriff spent more than $41,000 on restaurants, travel, and stores on a county credit card that the county commissioners say they never authorized. I think it's, I'm young and black and they don't want a black man to be in control of money and spending. I, 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 I hate to equate it to that. Less than two weeks after we broke down the audit on October 24th, the county was alerted about more than $53,000 in confiscated assets or seized monies that has been missing for six years. The county started asking questions and sat down with the I team months later in March. I started asking questions looking into it. I couldn't find any deposits that match that amount, 53000 $871.31. A week after the county started asking questions, the more than 53000 was deposited at Southern Bank by a deputy in uniform. Although it was the exact amount of money, the denominations don't appear to match the amounts on the asset sheet. You, your red flags go up and you think, well, what, what's going on here? It warrants asking more questions. Fast forward to February 16th. The GBI confirms they opened an investigation into irregularities in training records with former Waynesboro Police Department officer Gary Jenkins. Alfonso was the instructor for the classes in question at the Burke County Sheriff's Office. He put this video on Facebook saying he couldn't remember the date of the class, so he put it down as the 29th. And I agree, agreed to give him uh, the uh, instruction and give him credit for the instruction uh, after the instruction was complete. I did do that. The sheriff's phone records and GPS show he was not in Waynesboro at the time the training supposedly happened. After two months and several requests later, the I team sat down with Sheriff Williams to try and get some answers about his spending, training records, and the missing 53K. There is a, there is a significant GBI investigation right now going on into training records. Okay, look. That That's not, I mean, that concerns everyone, concerns all How the How is that a budgetary issue? It's not. Okay, then that's- But I haven't had the chance to ask you about that. That's, you, you asked me to come and talk about budgetary issues, and, and, and I would appreciate you being straightforward. Now, the GBI is launching a limited preliminary inquiry into concerns and allegations regarding the sheriff. That means it's the first investigation to determine if there is enough evidence to proceed with a trial or legal action. The county manager's office says county commissioners authorized his office to turn over all evidence to the GBI and district attorney. Emails between the GBI and the county manager's office show on February 10th, the GBI and DA met to discuss moving forward with the investigation. 
We have reached out to the GBI to see if this is criminal in nature or what exactly they're looking into. They say they cannot share any more information. We've reached out to the Burke County Sheriff's Office for comment, but we have not heard back.